DxO wants to provide the best of both worlds, the convenience of shooting photos with your iPhone, with the image quality and raw formats of a DSLR. The just announced DxO1 is a compact camera that attaches to your iPhones or iPads, lightning connector, so you've got an external lens, a real shutter button, and even space for a micro SD card. But you can pose shots and tweak settings on the iPhone's nice large screen. The aluminum device is only 2.6 5 inches tall and weighs just 3.8 ounces, so you can easily drop it in a pocket when you're not using it. The lens is a f1.8, 32mm equivalent a spherical lens with a variable 6 blade iris and a 1 inch, 20.2 mpcm OSBS eye sensor, which DxO says will help it capture great images even in low light. Once attached to your iPhone or iPad, the camera can still pivot up to 60 degrees up or down. And since the lightning plug is reversible, you can also face the camera toward you for selfies. The DxO1 ships in September for $599 dollars and US customers can pre-order now. The biggest risk might be the lightning connector. If Apple decides to change to USB-C in future iPhone and iPad models, you wouldn't be able to upgrade to the new version without making your expensive camera add-on obsolete. Apple typically announces new iPhones in September, the same month the DxO1 is scheduled to ship. So if you're concerned about USB-C, you could wait and see. We'll have a full review once we can get a device to test. Through a free iOS companion app you can change the aperture from f1.8 to f8000 and the ISO from 100 to 51200. You can swivel the camera when it's connected to the iPhone or iPad, allowing shots from different perspectives, including, of course, selfies. You can also shoot 1080p videos. The pictures you take can be transferred to the camera roll on the iPhone or iPad, from where you can edit them as is possible with images taken with the iPhone or iPad's own cameras. Pictures and videos are otherwise stored on DxO1's own micro SD card. No, DxO1 doesn't have its own flash, but it can leverage the iPhone flash. Whether you use the flash or not, the camera is meant to excel in low light. I haven't gotten to test the camera myself yet, aside from a couple of images I shot in my office, but I can certainly vouch for the quality of images that the company showed off while demonstrating the camera, some taken in dim light.